So guys, it's been a few weeks since our last vlog. I know some of you have been wondering where we've been. Not a lot has happened, to be honest. We did order all of the stuff for the studio and for the gaming setup, so we've been waiting for that to come in. But in the meantime, we thought we would unbox our new gaming chairs. This video is brought to you by BOBKeys.com. You guys know the drill. You've just finished building your brand new PC. You boot it up and bam, that hideous activate Windows watermark appears. And the worst part is you forgot to budget $200 for an activation key from Microsoft because you spent it all on RGB. But that's okay. Because you don't need to spend $200. You can pick one up from today's video sponsor BOBKeys.com for a tenth of the price. The best part is you can use my code TT25 for 25% off, which takes this already cheap Windows 10 Pro key from around $22 to $16. If you're in the UK, that's £13. You place your order, your activation code gets added to your orders page, you whack it into the Windows activation screen, and boom, you're fully activated, no more watermarks being burned into your retinas. TT25 for 25% off, link in description. Now, I'm very excited to unbox these because we've had them sitting here for quite a while. We've obviously moved a couple of times in the past year, and they're really cool chairs. But before we unbox them, just wanted to update you on the living room. As you can see, we installed these panels. They're from the Wood Veneer Hub. I'll put some clips up on screen now of us cutting them to size and installing them. But yeah, it turned out really nice, although they're very expensive. I think we paid around $400 to do like this kind of small area. Was it worth it? No. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. <laughs> it looks cool, but it's too expensive. Too expensive. I suppose we should show you this side of the room. This is where we're gonna be putting the gaming subs. Now, initially we kind of decided that we might be putting them in this room, which is now gonna be the studio. The reason we decided against putting the gaming setups in there is because we've done that before and we just really don't like having an area that is for work and then also for gaming. It's just like not relaxing. So this is what we're gonna be using. Now this side is gonna be Nay's setup. The other side is gonna be mine. And I'm very excited to see how everything turns out. We've got everything on order. It's basically just become an area where we've been dumping all of our projects that we've done or plan to do, but it should come together pretty nicely. This was like a temporary setup that we did for that MSI build. And this is actually a really nice space, especially in the morning. We've got like loads of sunlight coming in. So yeah, it's gonna be good. Now, I'm really excited to open up this chair because the new color scheme of my gaming setup is going to be black and white. In my previous setup, it was all white. It was very futuristic, lots of RGB. And I decided this time for my setup, I wanted something that was a little bit more modern and uh, I guess more appealing to the eye. So that's why I'm excited for this chair because it's black and white. It's modern, but looks futuristic. So it should tie in very well with our new setup. First out of the box, we have the chrome wheelbase. This is actually really nice. Ooh, this looks really nice. Wow, Josh, come look at this. It looks so cool. That looks sick. <laughs> that looks That's super gonna look cool. awesome. Wow, I really like the white. It is like pure white. And something else to mention, this was a collaboration with Porsche and Thermaltake, and this is real leather on the chair. So this is really high quality. What else we got in here? I might need your help. It's kind of heavy. Ooh, I'm so excited for this to go in my setup. Oh, that's heavy. So this is the bottom of the chair. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. You can definitely tell that this was a collaboration with Porsche because it looks like something that you would find inside of the car. So I think that's pretty much all the stuff out of the box except for all the fittings to put it together. Aha. Let's go ahead and put it together. All right, so here is the chair fully put together. What do you guys think? I personally really like it. I think the bucket seat and the white enamel on the back looks super cool. So let's go over some of the features on the chair. So this handle right here actually locks your tilt when you're sitting in the chair and you decide to lean back, you just pull that up and it locks it in place. And then if you wanna go forward, you just push back and go back up like that. And then on this side, this lever actually moves it up and down, so like that. Then we also have the armrest that can go forward, backwards, they can tilt inward and outward. And then you can also press the button to adjust the height. So overall, it's a really nice chair. 
Now for comfort levels for this chair, if I had to rate it on a scale of one to 10, I would give the comfort level probably an eight, which I would say that's that's pretty high. It's pretty comfortable. You wanna come try it out, Josh? Tell me what you think if you had to rate it on a scale of one to 10. Ooh, that's very firm. Right? It, it feels good. Like there's lots of back support here. It does feel definitely like a race car seat. It does smell good. It does. It does. I it can smells, smell the leather. It smells, smells like, like a fresh cow. One of the other things that I really like about this chair is because of the bucket seat, it kind of like, it like cups your thighs and you just feel nice and snug instead of where on my older gaming chair, I didn't really feel that way. So this feels a lot more fitted to the person that's actually sitting in the chair. We're just gonna go grab some dinner and then we will unbox my chair. Welcome back to day number two, guys. So yesterday it got a little too late. We uh, ran out of daylight. So now we're gonna open up Josh's gaming chair. Now this one is from Cougar and it's the Cougar Terminator. And I'm going for something a little bit different this time because in the past I've usually done like all white setups, but this time I decided I wanted to go for something a little bit more stealthy. So I feel like this chair is gonna fit in really well with the theme of the setup. I feel like I'm gonna like this chair just as much as my thermal take chair. It looks really cool. We got a little toolbox. Looks like a flower. It does! It looks like a <laughs> bikini bottom SpongeBob <laughs> flower. Whoa! Wow, that looks sick. I can see why they call it the <laughs> Terminator chair. I'm jealous, that's pretty it, cool. It looks like something straight out cyberpunk. It does. And this is the bottom of the chair. Here's a closer look at the back for you guys. You can see you got like this awesome like spine design. So it looks like that's all the parts. Let's put it together. And there we have it guys, the chair is complete. What do you think of it? Let me know down below in the comments. I have to say, I absolutely love the aesthetics. Like it, it just looks so cool. Now you do get a few accessories, which I can show you guys. You get a couple of pillows. So this one is like lumbar support. This one I'm guessing is for the headrest. There's also this piece as well. I noticed on the back of the chair or in this area, it's got like this mesh, I guess, for some extra breathability. Depending on how you want it to look, you can add this piece, which kind of makes it look a bit cleaner. I honestly prefer the mesh, so I'm probably gonna leave that off. So one of the first things I've noticed when you sit in it, it's definitely quite firm. It's got all the usual adjustments you would expect. So you've got up and down there, you have tilt lock, if you wanna relax like that. Obviously you've got to bear in mind at the end of the day, it is a gaming chair. So if you're after all day comfort, you'd probably be better off buying a Herman Miller. Oh, one other thing as well, you can adjust this headrest piece. So it moves forwards and backwards like that, which is nice. I think we should get Nene to try it. So from the looks of it, I think this chair looks cooler than mine. Even though the thermal take chair looks cool, it's just like the back of it just looks so cool. Are you gonna steal it? I'll probably take some photos <laughs> in it, yeah. What do we think? Feels firm. I could definitely sit in this for a couple hours while gaming and be fine. It's quite, it's quite wide. Yeah. The only difference that I don't like about this chair compared to uh, the thermal take chair is how it grips your thighs. I really liked how the chair uh, made you feel like it was- Hugging you. Hugging you, mm. yeah. But other than that, feels fine. <laughs> Do you like your new chair? Do I love my chair. My chair fits my aesthetic perfectly. I feel like it's futuristic, but modern, but you know. Yeah, actually, speaking of your setup. Oh, yes. Yeah, you wanna tell them about it? <laughs> yes, speaking of my setup, you threw me for a loop there. Um, what are we doing for our gaming setup? So, you know, in our previous setups, we were all futuristic RGB. There was too much RGB, honestly, in my opinion. I don't wanna go back to that. That was just too much for yeah, me. Yeah, it was a lot of RGB. I think this time we're trying to go for something like cleaner and I guess a little bit more yes. mature. Mature, yeah, we've, we've aged by two years since yeah. those setups. 
setup, so it's uh, time for something new. So for my setup, I'm actually going to do a black and white theme setup. We'll put some mood boards up for you guys so you can kind of like visualize that. So I'm gonna use some futuristic uh, white panels and pair it with some black wood panels. And we have some really cool ideas planned for the wood panels for some like individual lighting inside of them. So that should look cool. And then I have a really cool custom case that I'm gonna build for my setup, That's but what cool. are you gonna do for yours? Yeah, I'll put a mood board up on the screen now as well, but I have planned this time, like I said, to do a black theme, because it's been so long since I've done a black theme setup. I normally go for like all white everything. So yeah, it's gonna be a blend of, I guess, cyberpunky, futuristic, kind of neo-military look. I'm gonna be pairing this chair with Cougar's Conquer case. Yeah, that's gonna look cool. Yeah. Well, you didn't mention, he's doing a black and orange theme yep. for his setup. It's not gonna be just black. It's gonna have pops of orange to match with the chair and stuff, but yep. we've got a lot of cool things planned for our personal builds for our setups. Like we said earlier, everything is on order. So within about the next week or two, we should have everything. In fact, we have the tool station coming in tomorrow, yep, which yep. is gonna allow us to complete the studio. Mm -hmm. So we'll do a studio build that we're gonna be bringing you guys. We have some PC builds planned as well, don't we? We have a lot of content planned. We've just been waiting for everything to be delivered, honestly. I guess the final thing to ask you guys is which chair is cooler? My chair. No, I actually think your chair looks cooler. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. We'll catch you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and we will catch you in the next one. You already said that. Oh, did we? Yeah. You Shit. Said we'll okay, bye, guys. <laughs>